I recently opened up a laptop battery pack and I found these strikingly blue Panasonic CGR 18650C cells. And they're very interesting just because they're blue. Unfortunately, I don't find many Panasonic cells, even though I hear that they're the best. And every single cell that I've found has been pretty much a letdown. There's been like one amp hour or something like that. But they're all quite old. Now here's the interesting thing though. These are all almost zero volts. I I put them into the bin of just dead batteries at zero volts, but then it occurred to me, you know, they're actually not at zero volts. They're at 0.128 of a volt. So they're extremely low, lower than I would normally put into a battery pack. Now that I said that I'm a huge hypocrite because my electric tricycle battery pack, half of it is made with cells that were found at zero volts, like actually zero volts. And it's already gotten me over 800 miles out here in California, so that's pretty good. I just probably wouldn't put these into such a big pack as, as those ones now that I have more lithium cells, but they'd be great for like a smaller pack just for something, just for playing around with. But right now I want to see how durable is this battery type, this brand of 18650Cs or CGR 18650Cs, because there seems to be several different variants of the Panasonic brand. And I believe that these cells are originally designed to be 2200 milliamp hours of capacity. So the first thing we have to do is we have to charge it with a very low amount of uh, current. Turn on our power supply, IMAX B6. Now the IMAX B6 only goes down to 0.1 of an amp as you can see right there. And that's only 100 milliamps. That's still a little higher than what I would put into these. But remember, these cells are in parallel. So it's divided by three. So that if I charge at 0.1 of an amp, each, each of these will get only 0 0.033 of an amp. I say let's charge and see what happens. See if it blows up. Short error. Oh, look at that. It's going. Although, I'm not very happy with it going down that far that quickly because it was kind of, every time I was tapping it, it would go down really far. So, it, th these might have extremely high uh, self-discharge rates now that they've gone down so low. Okay, so, if these cells don't have a very high self-discharge rate, and if they are working okay, I should be able to turn it off and the number not go down very far after a couple seconds. It should stabilize pretty quickly, if it's healthy. Hmm. At least we have three of them, though. Now let's try the other one. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Hmm. Not too sure about these cells. I don't think they're going to handle too well. They may have not survived all the years of use or non-use or whatever life they've lived. Now let's see how this handles. Hmm. You know, wishful thinking wants me to think that while they're still below three volts, that that's why they don't keep their charge as much. Oh, like this one's... Oh, that's just still going down. Never mind. And that one is too. So yeah, I have to say I would never trust charging those to full because all they're going to do is release their energy and best case scenario, they just release it slowly. Worst case scenario, they release it fast. So I think right now these are just be good for having nice little blue cells around. Well guys, I'm sorry for this video being so short. I was hoping I have some interesting things about these this new type of lithium cell I found. Oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!